hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will explore uh, mask editor it is a generator used to mask things based on the textures what we have baked so what we we got this uh, model which is a sample in the substance painter so if you just scroll down you will have this uh, world space normal and then you got uh, ambient occlusion uh, the curvature all that stuff happening here so this was baked using your texture settings uh, here bake mesh options and you can bake it so I've got this uh, model so let's start doing something so firstly I would like to put a layer which is going to be uh, sort of yellow color and then I'm going to increase the metallic value and then slightly make it rough okay so that is going to be our first layer then I'm going to take another layer uh, on top of it and uh, I will be taking some uh, red color uh, slightly pale and then I just wanted it to be uh, just rough slightly rough nothing so I'm going to put a mask uh, and uh, in mask I'm going to take a generator generator mostly works with the maps which we have baked it is the heart of the substance painter so I'm taking the generator and uh, we have lot of uh, generators and I'm, I'm going to use this mask editor okay mask editor mask builder they all look same but there are a few options here and there it makes the difference there so we have global invert which uh, reverses this masking feature right now you could see the brass is exposed in the curvature part so we have the blur options you can blur them we have global balance where we can generally uh, slide it over uh, to shift the ranges and we can also make them contrast also so we have uh, apart from this is uh, the setting you could see commonly in all uh, the generators so what we have here is texture 1 and texture 2 so you can use two layers of textures in it um, as uh, sort of adding more details to it so before going into that let me go to the ambient occlusion so I've shown you what is ambient occlusion is let me go back so ambient occlusion is the the cavity area which is like uh, where the light doesn't reach and gives that shadows so I'm going to choose the material and then increase the ambient occlusion value okay so you can just uh, go there and then start shifting the let me reverse it and then choose a normal blending mode and then you could able to see okay that's uh, the ambient occlusion so I kept it uh, normal and then when I choose it to different other blending modes you could see uh, I've taken the blending mode to add multiply was not showing up so I'm taking the add blending mode and then you should able to see the ambient occlusion where the, the shadow regions the deep regions are also now uh, like wore out generally it doesn't happen but uh, okay in this case we were using so we can make it look more contrast and then you can shift the balance of that and then you can blur it if you wanted so ambient occlusion uh, concentrates on the cavity regions as you could see okay so let me bring that down and then uh, we have a curvature which is right now there with the opacity of uh, 0.5 I'm going to increase that or decrease that and then when I expand the curvature you have all that options which are basically uh, used to control different levels of uh, curvatures like uh, if I generally put all this uh, sharp fine soft medium large big huge so these are like uh, when I'm dragging the huge 
uh, large soft okay it's actually covering up a big uh, range of like uh, when i'm picking the sharp it generally concentrates on sort of high frequency detail whereas fine i, I need more details actually you should be able to see now the fine is taking a slightly broader range comparing to the sharp and then if you go down to soft it's much broader medium now you, it's not covering this region but it's covering this region so the the curvatures basically what we have in this model um this large details or medium details are um not really there that's the reason you are not able to see any change mainly uh, as far as the curvature is concerned you should able to see this white lines okay that's the maximum error if this white line would have been bigger then um, when i control the huge that area used to get influenced so it's like uh, how broader the details you can come down to that big number big attribute like huge covers a, a very thick curvature so uh, this model don't have that detail so you are not seeing any effect so you can just explore with this uh, features here okay and uh, we have uh, apart from that we have a uh, world space normal opacity when i'm using that i should also use a uh, um i mean world space normal is like let me go back here so if you see uh is that attribute i've increased the world space normal and then if i expand this world space normal you have like uh Uh, right to left left to right thing so i'll switch everything to zero uh, there is right to left top to bottom front to back now increase front to back should be able to see the front side is masked back side is opaque and then when i do top to bottom upside is masked and bottom is opaque uh, we will try to work with the balance and then contrast then you should able to see now uh, we have the top effect okay and uh, right to le left effect it's there here okay you can invert this which brings up this to this side and then we have uh, another front to back okay so i will uh, switch off this uh, world space normal and then uh, position gradient we will pick and then we will uh, it's now top to bottom and then increase the contrast and uh, majorly if you could see the difference here is it's just normal gradient uh, while the world space normal is giving the snow effect i mean snow or dust effect for that let me choose a uh, top to bottom effect there and you should able to see it's only covering up the faces which are facing on the top side here okay so i'm going to reduce that effect is that clear so we have uh, um the world space and position gradient they are different completely world space is identifying this top faces and this is only the gradient it's not uh, responding the it's like uh, if you want to create a dust layer position doesn't really help you at all and we got thickness opacity which is uh, sort of uh, the same thing like uh, curvature okay okay so that's uh, thickness and then we have uh, micro details so for micro details uh, you need to use a texture you can just go to micro height switch it on and then come down and then choose a texture there 
and that texture will be added and it will be visible only when uh, I work with the curvature and all that stuff and uh, I'll just uh, go back and switch it off and then we have uh, texture opacity one which I'm going to switch it on and then you can connect a texture also so when we connect that texture it uh, works in the texture so you have that scale control I should able to go closer okay and then contrast brightness so we should able to see that details um, I will generally bl I think I'll, I'll just switch on the ambient occlusion and then I'll go with the texture number two and then you should able to see that texture only affecting that regions so uh, while well, the macro details was affecting on the other side of the model so you can uh, apply a lot of textures to it so we have this texture too where you can scroll to the texture to attributes and then increase the scale and it's able to see that nice texture happening on the model okay so we have uh, you could see that two textures are uh, collectively working uh, on this okay so uh, textures are there it's not uh, as comprehensive as the other thing but it is very unique in comparison with the other model so you can select this model and then put that height and then so you should able to see that nice uh, detail on this so just explore this and see how this kind can help you in getting results as per uh, your requirement there